New York is the country's most populated and worldwide city. Its urban area includes sections of New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut. New York, located at the junction of the Hudson and East Rivers, is both the entryway to the North American continent and its favored departure to the world seas. But before we admire New York, let's talk about it and take a look back on what life was like in New York in 1900s. New York City consolidated between 1898 and 1945. New York City became the national capital of communications, trade, and finance, as well as popular and high culture. The 1900s were the progressive period in New York City. The entire population was 3.4 million individuals at the time, and it only grew from there. During this period, several of New York's renowned structures were built. Over the 1900s, many key subway stations were operational, resulting in substantial advancement for the New York City subterranean subway system that would secure its place within New York culture and reputation. The city saw a tremendous increase in population, industry, and riches. Commercial businesses built the subway system, which was a major accomplishment. The city sponsored massive new bridges connecting Manhattan, Brooklyn, and Queens, allowing for commuting and the growth of an industrial base there. The city also modernized its traffic infrastructure, erected hundreds of new primary and high schools, and implemented large-scale public health initiatives. Manhattan saw the development of several early skyscrapers, including many of the world's highest structures. New York has long been known as a city rich in variety. The city became a popular destination for both recently arriving immigrants and Americans looking for a fresh life in the large city. Finding work as an immigrant in New York City was quite straightforward. Yet the occupations they were assigned were some of the dirtiest and most dangerous jobs available at a low salary. Jobs in the city were not the same as employment in the country or suburbs. Farming and mining were replaced by industrial jobs. Ditch digging, gas pipe burying, and stone cutting. Immigrants are responsible for digging the first interborough subway tunnels, stringing cables for Broadway streetlights, building East River bridges, and erecting the Flatiron Building in New York City. Beginning in the early 1800s, the city grew into a bustling center of activity. Not only did New York's growing population ensure that there was always something to purchase or sell, but the city's ports also saw a continual flow of both imports and exports. As a result, by 1900, the city was teeming with people of all nationalities and financial levels, albeit some had it easier than others. As the number of communities increased, the city began to take on personality. Various neighborhoods developed unique characteristics, and residents began to speak with diverse accents, having been affected linguistically by Jewish, German, Italian, and other immigrant populations. When people travel and think about other countries, food will always be one of their topics. The bagel is associated with New York, particularly regarding Jewish eating culture in New York. It is reported that when Polish Jews immigrated to New York at the end of the 19th century, they brought bagels with them. It didn't take long for New Yorkers to fall in love with the bagel. By 1900, people were enjoying bagel brunch, a combination of cream cheese, lox, capers, tomato, and red onions piled high on a bagel. Nowadays, the bagel is an essential component of New York City's gastronomic fiber. Fashion is one important aspect that a country must have. Because of the unique challenges of city living, New York became an important fashion center during the 19th century. Clothing is a significant aspect of self-presentation and mediating interactions with others, particularly in big metropolitan areas such as New York, where one must traverse crowds and engage with strangers on a regular basis. In the mid-19th century, dressing and acting like a New Yorker provided protection against unsavory characters who preyed on innocent rural residents with their outdated attire and confused attitude. So what did it mean to have the look of a New Yorker? The New York look evolved through time to reflect changing ideas about urban living and the body as a venue for self-expression or group affiliation in the 19th century. 
In a booming and chaotic urban area like 19th century New York, the tightly knit early American communities with a close network of known persons collapsed. New York is a place where people experience what does it feel to be in a real city. Have you ever been in a place like New York? Let me know your answers in the comment section. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe on this channel. We'll see you on the next video.